How's it going? Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to talk about the 1975 Mike Mandel photographer trading cards. So this is obviously not the whole set or anything like that, but I picked um, this one is separately. I picked off of, off eBay. But I got these two sheets from eBay. Um, this and I'll get some of these graded. So this one is definitely graded. Uh, Bill Eggleston, which is William Eggleston, photographer. Obviously, these are all photographers, but um, these are super rad. Um, this one went grade that. I don't know how they would do the grading because I've seen this Bill Eggleston card online and they're always off center on the back. At least the ones I've seen. I don't know if I want to say always, but the ones I've seen, they're off center on the back. They look good in the front. So I don't know if they would grade off that. I'm not too sure. If it's since it might be normal, if it could be a high grade. Um, the reason I'm real excited about these sheets, though, is insanely there's an Ansel Adams card along with it, and that's a hard card to find. And um, so is the Bill Eggleston, to be honest. This one I I missed when I kind of learned of these cards. I looked it up and one had just sold like literally a few days before and I spent months and months and months until one came up and I grabbed it and then these I feel like I, I got like a I got this maybe might be a year ago by now actually um and then these I picked up maybe a few months ago um but I've been wanting to they've been sitting on the shelf over there you might have seen them in the background in the videos but I want to uh Sleeve them up, case them up, and uh, I'm hoping to send. I'm not too sure how many I'm going to send out to actually grade. Um, I definitely want to send Bill Eggleston, uh, Ansel Adams, and maybe the Swarkowski one. Um, Kappa one could be interesting too. Um, but I definitely want to send the Eggleston and Adams. Those are, those are the first. So. Try to be careful with these. The nice thing, oh, there's a line, of course. So this has, this does have a little bit of a, don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see right there in the corner, there's an issue. Um, and there's like a little bit of like a scrape looking right in here. A little bit, a little bit of staining, which I see in that, which old cards that happens. Um, there's actually like a brown speck, but it looks like it's actually on the thing, which I was excited about when I first took this out, but I didn't notice that little. So I like, it's really funny if you just like, might be able to see it from the way light hit it there, but if I, I hold, hold the card up like this, I can't see the, the crease in the corner, but if I just turn it, it's super prominent there. So that's the thing with cards is you can uh, um, I think you have something really good until you really take a look at it. I mean, this is still, regardless, um, I've seen worse versions of this. I've seen some beat up versions of this card. Um, so. Still really stoked to have this regardless. And uh, um, yeah, so hyped on that. But yeah, I'm gonna sleeve these up, put them in a case and see what we end up doing here. Um, so yeah, I'll probably send these out to grade here. Maybe, maybe I'll try to get these sent out here in the next few weeks. Um, I do want to look into possibly grading them through PSA. Uh, that takes all so long though. But it's probably, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably to grade through PSA. That's like the most popular grading company for cards. Um, but I also thought about doing SGC, which is, I mean, SGC might as well show us. SGCs look really cool. You got the black outlines and all that kind of stuff. and. Um, I can get this back very, these back very fast. PSA would probably literally be like a year. SGC would probably be like 10 days. <laughs> I mean, it's a big difference. And it's more expensive through PSA as well. So, 
Um, I might, I might just do PS or SGC. I might just do SGC. These are sleeved. I did a couple of these are sleeved in here. I wish that one had been sleeved. I, I don't know how well they were taken care of before they were sleeved, but there's a sleeve and a sleeve in front of it. So. This one overall is better than the other one, but there's still like a little bit of a nick on the top. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out which company I'm gonna, I'll look into it, but I'm gonna just say, most likely just gonna SGC it. You know, these are the old ones. I wonder if what's going on this. Um, So the, the Bill Eggleston, this one looks really good. Um, the only thing is a very slight, I don't know if you can see it through the case there, very slight, it's not even on this side, it's on this side, it's, not, it's like just a little bit of a, a fray maybe. Um, and I think, because you can't send it in this case to a grading company, you have to send it like in one of these types of cases. So when I take this out, maybe I'll do a little little tiny bit of pressing onto that and it might be able to smooth that out a little bit more. Um, but besides that, like actual surface, there's no dings, there's no scrapes. I think this will grade high. Um, with that mark, if that mark stays the same, I bet it'd still be, it's not a bad mark, it's just, you just tell something's up. So I could see this potentially being a nine, um, which would be awesome. I mean, time to be fantastic, but um, my last, that's one thing that concerned me a little bit about SGC is my last order I sent there. They really, I feel like, gave me some pretty low uh, grading scores. Um, first, very weird. Um, I've seen cards that were worse that had better numbers for sure. Um, so I'm a little, a little bummed on SGC at the moment, to be honest, and that's why I haven't sent anything in quite some time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sleeve all these up, get these put away, and uh, so they're fi finally not just sitting on my shelf where something can happen to them. And yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Might as well show off these cards, huh? I haven't shown them off. These are really cool. If you're into like collecting cards or even, um, you know, if you're a fan of photography, these are really cool. And here are the three that I have cased. And I hope you enjoyed this video of the 1975 Mike Mandel trading cards. I'll see you in the next video.